uh, welcome. Um, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to present KaidoTech today. Our company is uh, developing some really exciting technology to close wounds. It's different from the other uh, technologies you've heard about, which are mostly in the uh, IT space. Uh, myself, I'm a uh, physician, and I hate to say it, but I was Stanford educated, although my family did come from Italy in the 1400s uh, eventually. I uh, emigrated over here, and Marco is Italian, uh, also unfortunately Stanford trained, although he did his postdoc at Berkeley, and he's a professor at the University of Washington Material Sciences Department. On, on my background, I've been a serial entrepreneur for the last 20 years in the biomedical industry, founded several companies, two of them have gone public on NASDAQ, and developed and commercialized several FDA-approved products. So what are we focused on? Well, this picture shows a wound, significant, could be either from an injury or could be from surgery, and it is closed here with staples. However, it could also be closed with sutures. You can see it looks kind of nasty, painful. Any of us who have sutures can relate to this. What we are doing is developing a natural polymer called chitin. And this starts with an interesting story that uh, was from 2,500 years ago when a great Indian surgeon took a beetle and uh, applied it to a wound and the beetle bit down on the wound. And when the beetle bit down on the wound, he pulled the body away and allowed the wound to be closed with the beetle's mouth. Now beetles, as well as many other insects and shellfish, are coated on their outside with a material called chitin. And chitin is a powerful wound healing agent. And that's how we close the wound. Well, the story started to stop then in terms of the use of chitin until recently. And we are one of the play major players in the development of chitin. And we're developing it for a very unique clinical application. And that is we've incorporated it into a bandage with what are called microneedles. Microneedles have been used over the past few years and developed with metals and glass, mainly to, develop, to, uh, to uh, deliver drugs through the skin. We are doing something different. We're taking those microneedles, we're making them out of chitin, we're then putting them into a bandage or an array and applying them to the skin of a wound could be a cut, laceration, surgical wound to close it. Now, what is unique is the chitin. Chitin has many uh, properties that are very beneficial to wounds. First of all, it accelerates wound healing. It also prevents bleeding. It's actually antibacterial. And most important, it reduces scarring. In addition, it has some powerful material properties. It's breathable. It's waterproof and it's flexible, all important for when you're trying to cover a wound. And importantly, microneedles in themselves, interestingly enough, actually when you put these tiny holes in the skin, it actually accelerates wound healing as well. And finally, why, why have microneedles been developed? They're actually painless to apply, as opposed to sutures and staples. Now here's a picture of, of a microneedle uh, technology that we are developing in which it will be put on a tape roll similar and it be administered to a wound similar to what is done with scotch tape where you just unroll it over the wound. Chitin as I said comes from shellfish. It's the second most common natural polymer in the world next to cellulose. Readily available commercial sources and clinical sources are available. And we make it using a proprietary technology which generates nanofibers, which are able to be then formulated into microneedles. And that is a unique property that we are able to do and nobody else can do. Our Kaido stitch has many advantages over the current products, which can address some of the issues, as you see, but only a few of the issues that are really needed to have an effective wound closing product. The market is, is huge. There is over 70 million closures of wounds today, both in the emergency room, the clinic, and also the operating room, resulting in a market in excess of $2 billion. And our product costs 
literally less than a dollar to make, and so the gross margin is over 90%. And I won't have time to go through our outstanding team with extensive experience in the development and uh, manufacture of, of uh, skin products. And we, I just want to stress that we expect that we can introduce the part product in early 2014, about two years from now. It can go very rapidly because it's a disposable device as opposed to a drug through the regulatory process. And we expect to have pretty rapid uptake. And this actually only represents 10% uh, uh, market penetration at the peak in about six years. And uh, currently, uh, we are trying to raise $2.5 million to fund our company. Thank you very much. Thank you.